Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I would really like to get another power station up and running, and it looks like we can put one right here. Of course, that's a very inefficient use of space, <laughs> considering, uh, yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. I know we put a rescue shelter here, but I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to put a large power station right here if I can. Oh, I saw blue. There we go. We'll put a, loud, a large power station connected up to the network. We'll go paths. Connect that up. Also, let's, uh, while we're at it real quick, let's just replace all these like so. And that will give me a significant amount of power. We should be set for a while. Uh, now, I'm a little concerned. Now, we should be fine. We should be able to afford it. Also, we've got expeditions. We've got new research that we can do. Some genetic stuff and some medical treatment. No new buildings or anything like that, though. And then we've got our database that we don't really care about right now. But this will give us enough power to power all of our things for a while. For quite a while. So we should be good there. We've got this pen. Oh, this actually needs a power station as well. Let's go uh, substation large. And let's maybe... Can we sneak one in like over... Here-ish? Yeah. Let's sneak one in like right there. And then we'll go, like, here, here, and here. That'll work. And that should power all of this stuff as well, because we got a bunch of stuff that's without power. Sure, we will accept that mission. That's an easy one. Although, actually, I think that the reason these don't have power, now that I'm thinking about it, is because uh, we didn't have the large power station to actually power thing. That's fine, though. We're going to need more power over here anyway, so it's all good. Um, okay. Let's see. Our power costs are going to significantly increase when this power station is all done. But I think what we should do is get another uh, another dinosaur pen going. So let's go paths here. Fancy path wide. We'll bring that down like so, and then over, and we can connect that up as well, and then this can be a pen over here too, so let's go enclosures, viewing gallery, and we'll put that like right about there. And I don't know, I think that's considered connected to the path. It doesn't have the little path icon, at least. And then let's go fences, concrete. And we'll build this out a ways. Like so. Right, probably to about here and then start bringing it back so that viewing gallery should be a pretty decent sized pen and that's going to be bigger than this one we'll go uh, landscaping water add a little bit of water in here Add a bunch of trees back here. Oh, and there's actually already a herbivore feeder in here. Look at that. Well, that's fantastic. So you can't see... Is the... Yeah, the herbivore feeder is within range of the viewing gallery, but not by much. So let's demolish that. Let's go enclosures. Let's put it right here instead. That way they'll be kind of 
centrally located. And then we want another gate. We'll just put that, like, right here. And then this will be another pen for all these stegosauruses. So let's go helicopter, add task. There's only three of them there. Where were all... The, there was a whole bunch of other ones, weren't there? Oh, what are these guys? These are also... Yeah, okay. So we go... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll get all of those guys tranked. And we'll end up putting them in this pen as well. Is what I'm thinking. That way we have two pens for Stegosauruses. We're going to need more... Uh, our, our facility rating is, like, horrendous right now because we don't have any shops or any of that kind of stuff. So let's go paths here. And let's start building this out a ways to, like, maybe here or so. And then let's go guests. And let's start putting some stuff in. So I'm thinking we want to go... Let's see. We go to guests. A bar. We'll put in a bar here. We'll put in... A clothing shop there. We'll put in a... Restaurant. There. And we'll put in... An arcade. There. So these will all be built and connected. And we'll provide our guests with some of the necessities. So this is going to be like... Uh, not necessarily Main Street, but... And then we'll kind of build a pathway... Around back... Like, oh, come on. Like so. So that'll work. A lot of you told me that our transportation rating is part, or our transportation rating in some parks is so poor because uh, the the pathways, like they they're all linear and they didn't like connect back, so they'd have to like like if if this road wasn't here and they were here and they wanted to go here, they'd have to walk all the way around. So I'm gonna try and uh, do a little better with that. On, on this map. That's, that's like one of my goals. Is to make a little bit better transport rating. We can probably also start getting rid of some of these walls and things as well. So let's demolish that and that. In fact, the... The... Um, the whatchamacallit. <laughs> the uh, Spinosaurus. That's the one. The Spinosaurus is not here anymore. It's gone. So we can probably get away... with some stuff here. Um, I wonder, can we replace some of these paths? No, like those ones are not going to work. So let's just kind of replace parts of these. Like so. Just make them, make them fancy paths for now. And we can worry about some of the other stuff later. But we'll go, we can worry about like bigger paths and stuff later. Uh, okay. And then we want to go paths, fancy. Connect that one up to this, like so. So that'll be a nice big fancy fat path. Because we have so much space here that we're good. Uh, and now these guys, I imagine, should all be ready. So let's start transporting them to here. There's one. And there should be like two more. Somewhere. <laughs> I see three. Um, tell you what. Oh, I saw one. It's over here somewhere. Maybe. I can't. Yeah, I can't see it. All right, tell you what. Let's do this. Remove. 
a lot of this forest. And that way, any of these other dinosaurs here, we should be able to see them a bit better. Yeah, there's the other one. All right. So transport you to here and you to here. Okay. There we go. So we'll get all those going into this pen where they can be properly viewed by the peoples and it will all be good. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's look at our facilities. Uh, they're still in need of food and drink and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. Um, there is some space over here we could maybe make use of. Maybe we go, like, uh, a restaurant and put that, like, here. And then a... An arcade, perhaps. It can almost fit. Hmm. How do we want to do that, though? Because if this guy's all the way back there... Let's go paths. Right? Let's kind of build this over to roughly there or so. And then we'll sort of bring that over to, like, here. Connect that up. And then I think what we'll maybe want to do is remove those. Delivery has been completed. And build that over like Asset so. Has been transported. And then we'll go guests. Maybe we just put like a fast food restaurant in. Like here. Is a textbook example of doing it right. Right? We'll go like, uh... You know, Isla Sorna isn't an easy nut to crack, but you've got the entertainment division on the island completely lit. That's getting you a reward as well. Let's go like that. There we go. And then we'll connect that one up too. Cool. So we'll have a couple of... That way we're actually doing something with this space. I've got something for you. If you're incubator carnivore, that's going to be important as well. I know you're incubating new dinosaurs, but be responsible. Each life we create, even if it began millions of years ago, is precious and valuable. Truly valuable. Task received. Let's go trank those guys as well. Asset transportation in progress. And then we'll get rid of a bunch of the trees over here, too. So that when they do ultimately become tranquilized, you gotta remember there's three of them over here. Commencing asset and we can put them into other pens. Now that should be fine. Because these guys will need more friends. But we're, I think we're actually flying them new. Yeah, yeah, these guys are on their way there. So that'll be good. And then money-wise, we need some uh, sort of big ticket dinosaurs as well. I want to be able to see my, my like map outline here. We are going to need to do quite a lot of terraforming, I think, over the course of this project. Not just tree removal, but also, uh, like, landscape, you know, getting, flattening land and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Let's just kind of spread some of this out. We don't need to worry about all of this right this second, but just enough to kind of see where we're going to be moving to as we expand the park, I think would be... Fairly good. There we go. And uh, thankfully, terrain management, getting rid of trees and, you know, flattening land, adding water, all that kind of stuff. That's all cheap. That's not expensive at all. Let's actually remove 
all of that as well. There we go. So this kind of shows us where we're going to be going when we move that direction. There's not a ton, uh, there's not a lot more space over here. These guys should be getting, yeah, they're happier now. This one is panicking probably because he was just set down. That's fine. Okay. So now we've got all that stuff going. But we also need uh, more ends. How are these guys doing from like a population? Yeah, we could put a lot more stuff in here. So let's go uh, to our creation lab. We definitely want to go ahead and do the success rate upgrades right away. Like so. And then let's just go ahead and incubate, like, uh, ooh, we could do it. We could do a baryonyx at some point, and we probably will want to. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's go ahead and do uh, maybe like some triceratops, and let's just modify these guys a little bit for lifespan. So we'll go here. I mean, we've got lifespan there. Uh, back to you. Modify. Let's look at this one. That would get us up to 107 lifespan, which would be pretty good. Would drop the rating a little bit, but the lifespan... And, hey, we're going to have our dinosaurs dying right away. Like, that's no good. Uh, so then this one, how much of a difference is it? Yeah, we'll go here and then cosmetic. Let's go Alpine because it doesn't really matter. And then let's go ahead and incubate two of these guys and we'll get them into a pen as well. That should help us with our income. We'll probably put them in with one of these uh, tricera with some of the stegosauruses. That should be fine. We also have the fossil zone. Dig up the past in an interactive museum that provides guest satisfaction. Pricing and staff can be managed to search the park. Okay. Drink fun shopping. I mean, I guess it just is like a straight guest satisfaction increase. Is If I'm reading that properly. That's what it seems like anyway. We can also turn this into a pen over here as well. Maybe we go like um, enclosures and do a viewing platform. Oh, disease. Okay. Ranger team. Hopefully it's a disease that I can. Oh, no. I don't know that one. All right. So here's what we got to do. We need to go here. Island navigation. Jump back to... Is it Isla Tacano? I think it's Isla Tacano that's like our super... Uh, yeah, yeah, 15 million on hand. So let's go there. Let's do all the... Um, the, uh, the medical upgrades. Let's do all of those so that we can learn about them and treat the diseases that our dinosaurs have because, yeah, it's not good if we can't uh, keep them healthy. And while we're at it, we can do some expeditions and stuff to go get fossils and all that kind of good stuff. So, let's go... First of all, fossil center view. Do I have any? No. Okay. Uh, research center. View research. Uh, that's genetics. Here we go. Medical treatment. Do these first. Okay. And we want to find our... That's our ACU. Where'd we put it? Like down here? Yeah, right here. Expedition Center view. And let's see what we have. There's some new stuff. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. I like the idea of a Spinosaurus. Let's uh, send those guys out. We're also working towards this like Taurosaurus genome or whatever. Profit from expedition sales. Yeah, we got a couple things here. I mean, there's also all this stuff. I'm just trying to see. There's actually quite a few missions here that we still have yet to complete.
One out of three missions complete. These are all locked due to reputation. Robust digestion. Confinement studies is a mission. Three words. That's easy. Contract we'll do that one. Yes. But the big thing I know. is all that research Firsthand. that needs to get done. What happens when we cannot provide safety for our guests? And I never want to experience that again. I mean, this this park is, like, pretty set from, like, a ratings. Facility ratings go okay. A dinosaur rating could be increased. Apparently, you guys have told me that, like, uh, T-Rexes and stuff, uh, T big dinosaurs and little dinosaurs, carnivore-wise, will not attack each other, is what you guys have told me. So, like, these Ceratosauruses, I could put those in with raptors, and they would be just fine. Or that uh, raptors will not attack... Diplodocus is what you guys have also told me. So we could make a little bit more efficient use of our space in that way. Let's go ahead and release this Ankylosaurus. If I remember correctly, he is supposed to go into needed more people like you when he pen somewhere. Down this prehistoric path. Not over here. Dedicated personnel? Well, I'm sure there were some. The other one that weren't eaten. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. is this is this pen right here? That's where they're supposed to go, is directly into this one. Strong, armored, and with a tail it can wield like a massive club. Even in the Cretaceous period, sometimes a blunt object could be more effective than a sharp one. And actually, we have a lot of space and stuff. Like, we could add some things here. Oh, there's all sorts of new stuff. That's pretty cool. Nothing super... Oh, that's actually super... That's the, that, I think that's the most expensive item we've uh, seen thus far. So that's pretty cool. Let's just extract all these. We're basically just looking for fossils right now. And then get that Styracosaurus out of there. Let's look at these guys. They're still fine from a population standpoint, but uh, we can make a few more. So let's go like a new Styracosaurus. Let's look at the Ankylosauruses real quick. Yeah, they're perfectly fine as well. So let's do like two more Styracosauruses. There we go. We'll do that. And then I'm thinking, let's make a big T-Rex pen over there. Uh, and then we want to go Fossil Center view. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We want to go to the Expedition Center and send out a new expedition. So let's go you and you. There we go. And then we'll go here. Incubate. Give me a T-Rex. Impressive work on that. Heavily project. modified. Didn't go unnoticed. We can maybe even turn this up more like that will get me up to a 369 rating drop the viability it looks like i've actually pretty much done like most of the stuff here so yeah i'll tell you what let's just incubate a very expensive t-rex but he'll live and then we need to make a pen for him so let's go enclosures let's go Gyro station. Actually, first, let's go enclosures, viewing gallery, right? And this, basically, we have all this space over here. This is essentially going to become the T-Rex pen. So we'll go like a viewing gallery there. We'll do... We'll start putting in the enclosure itself, and we want to go fences, electrified concrete. Like so. And then this can actually be, like, a really big pen. Let's go, well, tell you what. I 
Like, we're not going to be able to see everything if we go this way. So let's start, like, building it back. Like here. Right? And we'll go like that. So this whole giant thing right here, this is going to be the T-Rex pen once it's all said and done. We'll put a gate in right here. We'll go enclosures, throw in a viewing platform like here. Throw in a substation. Man, that, yeah, that's all well outside of the range of power. So maybe we put like a large substation. I'm just trying to think like how the best way to power this is going to be. Release that one. Release that one. There we go. Yeah, I know we're without power. It's okay. Also, there uh, I almost totally forgot. The whole reason we're here is to research diseases. And I kind of forgot to be researching diseases. So let's do that. And you might as well re research the genetic stuff too while you're at it, right? No reason not to. But we said this is going to be the T-Rex pen. So let's go power... Let's do a large substation like there. And then I'm actually thinking, let's do a large power station. Oh, we can't fit it back there. I was really hoping. Uh, let's do a medium power station then. Like right about there. We'll connect that up like so. And then we'll go... Um, we'll have to figure that part out as well, but that's fine. We can do that. Let's go power uh, paths. You... Build that straight over. Build that straight over like so. I just want to get all of my different enclosure bits in first face that out this way maybe put that one here and then go another viewing gallery man that's not a good spot for it let's go enclosures viewing platform and that will cover Almost this whole area, in fact. So that will actually work, I think. I'm going to have to remove some of this forest and stuff, but that's fine. Okay, paths, large, U, build it out, build it out here. And then do one of those. So that should work. And then also, we should probably have a gyro station here as well. So let's go gyro station. Uh, rotate. We'll put that like right about... I suppose we could put it over... Where do we want to put this? Maybe like right there. And build here, here, and just kind of have it wrap all the way. Oh, come on. Like, I got part of the gyro station. <laughs> it doesn't want to do the rest. That's okay. Um, paths. Wide. You. Here. 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 And then we'll kind of bring it along like so. Connect that one up. 
Connect that one up. That one up. There we go. And then we go pylons. And we can start bringing those like so. And then this whole thing should all be connected up now. And then we need to go... There's a dead something somewhere. What died? I know there's a dead dinosaur, I just don't... Oh, there it is. It's a... Heading to pick up the asset. A Mysosaura? Needs a... needs a friend. Okay, so... Incubate. Myasaura. Incubate. There we go. We'll get that going. We can also release the T-Rex. Which we then want to immediately tranquilize. So we can transport him to his new home over here. And then edit gyrosphere route. Coming like so. So this will be the gyrosphere route. And we'll go landscaping, water, add a bunch of water here. There is a new job available. I mean, pretty much this whole pen is visible. And with the gyrosphere, it basically all will be. So that should be fine. We can fit some shops and stuff over here. Let's go trees. Add some trees in along over here, perhaps. And then go enclosures. Add a live bait feeder and a live bait feeder. And a carnivore feeder. So we'll do that. And then let's just add a little bit of a little bit of shrubbery just for looks. Okay, there we go. Just to get some of that stuff in. Okay. Sweet. Guests. Gift shop. Here. Uh arcade. There. And a... No, not... Uh, guests. Well, actually, we do kind of need a, a bowling alley here as well. Let's put that right here. And then we'll go... Guests. Restaurant? Is there no restaurant? Ah, restaurant. Put that right there. So that way all their needs will be met, basically, anyway. Then we have a beater that's empty. There we go. Do that. And then finally, that T-Rex should be out cold. Let's grab him. And transport him to his new home where he can actually be seen. Unfortunately, though, guys, I'm out of time for this episode. So I got to call this one here, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.